You have had a very busy off season. I mean, you welcomed a little one, you signed a three year extension. You're now here in Cleveland for the foreseeable future. What was the motivating factor in signing that contract, wanting to stay here in Cleveland? Sure. I think, I think a huge part of it was the people in the building. Like ever, ever since I've stepped in the door, the way that I felt welcome, the way that the organization, the culture is, I, I feel honored by the way that we were able to come to agreement monetarily, because I think like, I'm not going to act like that wasn't a part of it. That's also a big piece, trying to like secu secure a future for your family, secure a future to be able to help help communities and a number of things. When you look back nearly a year ago, the position you were in when you were coming here to Cleveland, mm -hmm. what type of headspace were you in? And did you predict that you would have as great of a season as you did and end up signing an extension being here for the long haul? Right. Um, it was weird because I, I kind of expected a trade, but Cleveland wasn't on the radar initially. And then when everything kind of like was unfolding, I saw that it was a possibility it ended up happening. I don't know, it was a surprise in a lot of ways. Trying to make sense of it all and trying to get set up, move, you're moving cities. My wife was a huge help. Find a place to live, get, get it furnished, um, set up bill pay. She enabled me to be able to focus on uh, what I do on the field. Something a lot of people are excited to see this season, the new kickoff rules. Sure. So how has that changed your off season? Is it any different how you've been preparing, preparing for this upcoming year? A little, but honestly, it's. Uh, I think it's more impactful on the coverage players than it is the kickers. Uh, ultimately, we, we're the last line of defense, so I'm not saying it doesn't affect us at all, but it's going to be really interesting, honestly. I think a lot of the teams are just still feeling out uh, exactly what to do. I mean, we have a plan and we're going forward, but I also know that, like, we're going to try to do what's effective. And so I think these preseason games uh, for special teams, a lot, in the past, it's kind of like not very cutting edge as far as what you're doing in a preseason game. It's useful for every team watching every preseason game to see how some of these teams are going to choose to do the kickoff. Maybe it might end up with us making more tackles than usual. I don't know. I think it's going to be uh, just interesting to see how it shakes out. Well, we have to check on your hamstring before you're going and making it oh, yeah, tackles, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Because that's how you were injured last year in Houston. So how do you feel headed into this season? I feel great. I feel healthy. Um, I think had last year we gone another week or two weeks, I was going to try to give it a go and kick. So I've been, the fact that I was probably willing to play a game pretty close to the end of last season, like I've been healthy for the majority of the offseason. Every year I've tried to improve some aspect of my game and you can't revamp everything in one offseason. It just doesn't, I think at that point you create more problems than solutions. But I, I've tried to just change a little bit about my swing every year to hopefully make you know, help that translate to more success on the field. It feels, it feels like home. Shoot, even even folks around town, whether they've, whether they know who I am or not, luckily I'm not like 6'5", 315, like some of my other teammates. So I, I blend in pretty good. But whether they know who I am or not, they're just, they're just kind folks in Cleveland, which is nice. It's nice to be wanted as a player. And I think other players would agree with that. You want to perform well for an organization when you feel like they've honored you as a player. And I've, I've felt very honored since I've been here. I, I don't guarantee to make everything. But I guarantee that I'm going to try to everything in my power to be in the best mental space and physical space I can be to be successful in the field.